welcome back to another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration. Uh, it's Sunday today, so what does that mean, Mac? Open cars! Open cars! All right. So up first, I've got a package from, uh, this is Peter Niebel from New Berlin. Um, I met him through one of the collector groups on Facebook, and he had some good stuff at some very reasonable prices, and we were able to work out a deal on those. And this little box, man, look at that. It is chock full of cars. So, you wanna open this one, Mac? Okay. Let's open it. Oh, uh, you know what that is? That is a Mercedes trailer. trailer. Yeah. So I've got a couple of these, um, but the ones that I have all had reproduction tops. I don't have any that have had it original open. tops. It doesn't open, but this is one of a two-part model. So I think the other truck is still in the box. It might be that one. Mm. Don't let me open it. You want to open? Yeah. yeah it looks like the right color. So in this auction or this this group of uh, purchases, I think I paid either two dollars or three dollars a car for these. So um, again, give you some idea of value on some of these. Uh, you don't have to pay ten, twelve, twenty dollars for some of these cars. Um, not to say that there aren't cars out there that are worth that and sell for that pretty regularly. Um, but if you know where to look and you just patient and wait. Get some really nice models for a very, very decent price. So, really happy to pick up these two. They are a little play warm. This one has a, a little booger here on the back corner, but um, you know, overall, pretty decent condition. And for being an all original model, um, happy to add that to my collection. What else we got, Mac? It's a car. Uh huh. This is the. Uh, the Lark Wagoneer, Studebaker Lark Wagoneer. Um, so if you have followed some of my other videos, I've got a giveaway that's going on right now and we're actually doing a full restoration on one of these. It's gonna end up being an absolutely beautiful car, um, but it's one of the options that you can vote for. So uh, don't forget to check out the giveaway video and click the link so you can vote for which one you might want to win. I'm gonna give that away to one of my subscribers. Um, so definitely would love to have uh, one of these in in uh, that group to be able to send out to someone. So uh, check that out and drop a vote on the totals there. Next we've got, what's that? It's a truck. It's a truck. It's a Unimog. So I've got a couple of these, but again, um, when I can pick up cars for $2, $3 a piece and I'm filling a box, already paying the shipping anyway, um, this was one I, I just couldn't pass up. And I think I know what this one is. Any guesses? Because it's really small, it's really thin. That one's really well wrapped. Yeah. It's the uh, convertible. This is a Pontiac convertible. This is the number 30, what is that, 39. Um, this is a silver wheel model, so a little bit rarer model. Um, but again, it was in the group, and I think I gave $3 for, for all of these cars, $3 each. Um, and this one is missing the uh, steering wheel and the windscreen in it. Um, I don't know if I can get a reproduction on that or not. But um, again, this is one I didn't have in my collection and I surely didn't have it in a silver wheel, silver wheel uh, variant. So um, when I can find some of those rarer ones, especially at prices like that, I, I can't pass them up. So those are all good finds from Peter. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, 
Super excited to get all of these in the collection. So let's see. Next, I got another box from Lori Fenske. Uh, for those of you guys that know the Fenskes, they also do uh, some of the Facebook Live auctions. And I think this time I only bought one car. Um, I love the Fenske auctions. The, uh, the best and worst part of them is prices are a little bit higher on them. Um, but they're higher because Lori finds good stuff. So I don't remember exactly what, well, I do remember what this is now. Um, and this is something I've been on the hunt for a long, long time. So for, again, for you collectors out there, you know how hard it is to find these uh, original Harley Davidsons, um, especially with the handlebars intact. They're always bent or broken or missing. This one's got a few little chips, little chiggers and dings on it. Um, but overall, really great shape. I haven't seen one of these uh, sell online or on eBay or any of those auction sites for less than $80 to $100 recently. And uh, I think I paid $25 for this car. So definitely paid up, paid more than I usually do for a car. But again, it was a steal uh, for what this is and the condition it's in. So super happy to have that. Um, again, Lori and Joe run a great auction and uh, definitely um, if you are a high-end collector and you're looking for the really, really good stuff, uh, join the Vintage Matchbox Live group on Facebook so you can get the notices for all the upcoming auctions um, and watch for uh, Lori and Joe. And let me see, last but not least, got an envelope. I, I get really excited about envelopes. Uh, this one's from John Fort in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, and I think this was actually somebody that contacted me on our YouTube channel and uh, asked if I was interested in this. So let's see, this is this looks like a box inside of a box. Yes. So this was, I don't think this was part of it. Maybe this was just for shipping. Um, I'm not familiar with Matchbox Premier or the Exotics collection. Um, if you know anything about these, I'm guessing this is later because it looks like a newer box, but if you know something about that, uh, shoot me a message down in the comments, uh, see what, what that is, if you can help me identify it. Um, but this is what they contacted me about. So this is a um, original Matchbox Series number 73 box, and uh, it's in rough shape. It's the, the flaps are torn off here. This one looks like it's, yeah, it's got some sellotape on it there. Um, part of the edges here, a little bit ragged and torn. Um, so definitely a good candidate for restoration. It looks like I am missing one of the inner flaps. So I'll, I'll have to look at that and see if that's something I want to try to recreate or not. Making the repairs on these is definitely not a big deal, but I want to show you the thing that I was really super excited about with this box um, that makes it just so incredible and unique. And that is the little price tag sticker here on the bottom. Um, I always like the, the stickers when they're intact, when they're original. I like to uh, leave them on. But if you take a look at this sticker, you'll see why I think it's so cool. This car was sold at Disneyland. Um, original price with tax was uh, 51 cents. So I think that's just incredibly cool. You know that this was probably you know, the one souvenir um, some some child got to bring back, bring home from Disneyland, and they chose a Matchbox Series race car. Um, and, you know, I don't know enough. I've, I know I've got some friends that are experts on Disney history. This may have even coincided with uh, some ride or uh, attraction or something in the history of Disneyland. If you have any ideas, uh, leave it for me down in the comments. I'd love to know more about that. But... Um, was so incredibly excited to see that and to get this and this for sure um, I've got a couple of these models and one of these I purchased expressly with the intent of doing a restoration on it so I've got a decal set for this I've got um, a couple nice originals that I can use as reference and I've got one that is going to be a restoration so I will probably do this box restoration and the car restoration in a future upcoming um, restoration video. I've got, uh, I think I've got somewhere between six and eight cars in process right now, various stages of um, restoration. 
And so this one may be a little bit further down the line, um, but I just thought that was incredibly cool. And I am, this is, out of all the things I've got, this is one of the things that I'm probably the most excited about. This is, this is a really great find and I'm super happy to have this, but I think this is the thing that, that I'm really in this shipment I'm most excited about. So as always, if you enjoyed this mail call, uh, give us a like down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with this and all of our future videos. And uh, join us next week for another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration.